Yeah, so I, I have Kenny Pickett here. Uh, and, I got him too. Okay, and reason being, like, small hands. Looks, the, well, that's 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 not why I have to stock down. Um, but it's funny. I was on Anthony's show, and and VG said, "How's how's small hands picket doing?" or something like that. Um, <laughs> here's the thing: is that if you took all context out of it, if you came to the Eagles practice, you didn't know who they were, and and I said to you, one of these guys behind Jalen Hurts was a first round pick, and is the front runner is and is going to be their backup quarterback this year. And the other one uh, was a late round pick who like is more of the developmental type. You would think that McKee is the first round pick who's the backup. And you would think Peck and you would think Pickett's the, the, the developmental type. Now, again, it's five practices. I watched the Orr's preseason last year. I thought Pickett looked really good in the preseason. Maybe there's something to the fact that he's a gamer. Maybe there's something to the fact that, He's acclimating to the personnel around him. I can't say acclimating to the offense because they're all acclimating to the offense, right? But this is new personnel around him. Uh, that said, I I just I expected to see more from Kenny Pickett during training camp than I've seen. I'm trying to be uh, to be generous here and think back to you know the backup quarterbacks that we have seen throughout training camp over the past decade or so. And it, it it does seem like a difficult job. You know, last year was Marcus Mariota, who was mm-hmm. lo- like looked worse than almost anybody in camp. Even Gardner Minshew, who was a good backup quarterback, did not look super great in training camp. Nick Foles, notoriously not a great practice player. I think maybe there's something to be said that that job in particular is pretty difficult. There, there's probably a case to be made that like defense tends to be a little bit deeper. Yes, exactly. Then offense. And so you are up against it. Like if the offensive, the, the, the bet, the second team offensive line is probably going to be worse than the second team defensive yes. line because the second team defensive line plays. Right. And if the second team wide receivers are out there, those guys don't get on the field that often. And, and corners, maybe there's not a huge difference between who are the starters and who are the backups. So maybe it's, maybe that is, it is just a difficult job. Um, and nobody's going to look great there, but I think what is telling is that compared to Tanner McKee, Tanner McKee does look better. Um, he seems to have a better tempo in the offense. He seems to have a better understanding of where the ball should be going and when it should be coming out. Um, he has, to me, thrown a more accurate ball. So, like, the, the, the picket uh, stock down, I think, is a little bit more about the um, comparison to McKee than it is about just how he has looked sure. exactly. But – there's no doubt that that he hasn't he has not looked like a first round pick who the Eagles are going to be thrilled to have at this uh, unbelievable price for the next two seasons. He just looks okay. And and to build on what you just said there, this that is 100 percent accurate about backup quarterbacks, and it's, it's something that I've talked about and 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 that I I believe there's more um, mixing and matching personnel on the back end of defense than there is uh, even on the front end of defense, right. Then there is uh, with the offense, you're playing with the second team offensive line at all times, right. You're never playing with AJ Brown and Devonte Smith. There's a dr- clear drop off at wide receiver beyond AJ Brown and, and Devonte Smith. So the personnel and more than anything, I, I would say quarterback, you're, you're in practice, your personnel matters so much. If your receivers aren't making plays on balls, if your offensive line is not blocking and you're under duress, right? There's there's only so much that a quarterback is able to do in a practice setting that uh, a relative to you know I, I think his personnel matters quite a bit. Um, so we'll so we will see. But yeah, I, the 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 way you framed it compared to Tanner McKee is the key part of that. Mm-hmm. Y'all silly like the mayor. 